does the studio audience choose? Number one or number two? Well, you look sensational in both of them, honey. Ah, oh, you're no help. Did you remember to uh, pack your trunks? Yes, of course I did. Uh, I just need to get Nadine's signature on a couple of things, and we are on our way. Swaying palm trees, powdery beaches, blue-green water, you lying in a hammock. Feeling guilty. About what? Well, honey, we get a vacation, but Billy and Nadine get a divorce. I will not let you feel guilty. Do I remember to pack my cosmetic bag? Yeah, it's the power of a Caribbean island. Huh? You can get a suntan or a divorce just like that. Well, I also believe it's possible to get married there. Just like that. I know this isn't your favorite topic, but it's not like it's out of the blue. We just went to Frank and Elaine's wedding. Uh, Harley and Mallet are going to march down the aisle, and it's Joe. It's National Wedding Month or something. Blake, my dear, marriage has been on your mind in March, April, May as well. Oh, and not yours, right? Hey, no problem. There's a zillion reasons no self-respecting man would want to marry me. I'm too impulsive, too insecure, too... I don't know, fill in the blanks. I hate it when you do this. Do what? Put yourself down. My competitive nature, I like to beat the other guy to it. Would you just stop it? All right. Every time we start to have a serious discussion, you either get defensive or you make a joke about it. Sorry. And I'm getting just a little tired of the labels, especially the ones you pin on me. What labels? Well, you're to this, I'm to that. I mean, how many times do you refer to me as stodgy, conservative, or introduce me as your older boyfriend? Well, I was just teasing. Besides, you are... conservative. When it comes to marriage, yes, I probably am. Yeah, that's a very good example. <laughs> it's not a very easy subject for me, Blake. Well, obviously, since you have this cute little habit of disappearing or breaking out into a rash every time that word is mentioned. That is because you keep bringing it up, and then you pretend to make a joke out of it, and that just doesn't help, honey. Are you saying that... That you would be willing to discuss this seriously? I will, if you will. Uh, well, I don't know where to begin. Um, well, for starters, you have no idea how many imaginary conversations I've had in my head with you. You know where I say something and then you say something and uh, I drive myself crazy trying to just conceive of every negative response you could possibly have. I'm so afraid of losing you. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Just your basic insecure female, I guess. Because you're the best thing that ever happened to me. that if we let things go the way that they've been going, you're just going to wake up one day and decide that I'm more trouble than I'm worth. <laughs> Blake, no offense, but after all the things that you've done, if I haven't left you before, why on earth would I do it now? However, marriage is not a guarantee. That two people are gonna stay together forever, I think you know that. Well, my marriages were different. I mean, you're not the kind of man that would leave. Don't make me out to be somebody I'm not like. I walked out on my marriage, too. The reason I don't want to go out and tackle some minister and commit marriage again is probably because... I don't know, I'm just not ready to make it legal yet. A lawyer not wanting to make it legal, just my luck. What? Yeah, I've got a sneaking suspicion, Blake, that you have this romanticized version of marriage, and you think that if we stand at an altar and we make vows of love to one another, it will erase all the bad things that ever happened to you. It might. It won't. If 
found out the hard way. Because I was a lot like you. I was uh, eager to take risks. I was willing to give up everything for love. Are you talking about your first wife? My only wife, Carrie, yes. You never say much about her. It seems so long ago. But I wanted nothing more than to just be with her and see her smile and hear her voice. And naturally, we got married. And naturally, I thought this was going to last forever. But it didn't. Because we found out that uh, we rushed into it. And we really didn't know one another at all. Well, maybe it was just more one-sided than we are. I mean, maybe somebody loved the other person more or something. The first thing that went wrong, she didn't see a problem was sleeping with another man. I'm sorry, Ross. She claimed that she loved me. Even when I walked in on them. And, uh, if I have a little trouble trusting women, that's probably the reason why, I'd say. You couldn't forgive her? I tried. But I just couldn't. I couldn't get this mental image out of my mind, and that probably explains why things didn't work out so well with your mother and me. She cheated on you? No, not physically she didn't, but right or wrong, I couldn't help but think that she wanted to be with your father, and that no matter what I did, they were always going to have this love-hate relationship. I think you're right. That really doesn't concern me right now because I'm in love with you. And I'm here trying to explain to you that I'm I may be just a little slow when it comes to the subject of getting married again. Because I find it rather difficult to trust. You and me? You're the first woman I've trusted since Carrie. And even that took a little while. Now, Blake. I am not saying never. All I'm saying is that I need a little more time, and I think if you're patient, we'll both get what we want. No, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Hi, listen, oh, air conditioner. Listen, uh, does Ross have the... Never mind. Ross, do you have the, um, the contracts, the papers for the deal with Holland? Yeah, uh, of course I do. Uh, give me a minute. Great, great. What's wrong? Oh. What's right, really? You know, Alan Michael, I just... Oh, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my life paying for that one night. 